Hi guys, it's Jacob from StringBuzz here, StringBuzzWorld.org being the music journalism site, links are in the description down below. And we have a brand new song review for you today, and it's of Code Orange's latest track, Kill the Creator. I'm going to refer to the original article as I usually do for this video, so I hope you enjoy. So the creepiest band in modern music is back again with another track off of their upcoming album. An album I'm both excited for and a little nervous for, because I am genuinely a big fan of this group, and they're just getting their big break now. So I hope that they really, I don't know, make use of it, make use of this opportunity. After enjoying the change of pace on their latest track forever uh, which was actually a real surprise for me before I actually go into the rest of this article I was going into this one a little unsure on what direction they would go down which is a quite exciting as a music listener that they can change up the sound and I can still be such a big fan of it but luckily it only took me a couple of seconds to find out where this one was going to go and yeah this track is pretty darn heavy but I do think it's a huge step down from forever although I can see the track working much better on a full album when juxtaposed next to longer tracks I just feel that it doesn't stand as a single at all, especially if you're trying to promote your new album. There just isn't enough content here. There is a lot of up-tempo, frenetic strumming and a singular force to break down, but then the track just ends before it really starts. Capping in at just over two minutes, is it any surprise why I'm a little lost for words whether this track is actually good or not? Production wise, the track is really bad. Uh, after loving the gritty production on Forever, which I genuinely thought was the best production they've had thus far since probably Dreams in Inertia, again, I feel this track is a bit of a step down from that track. The guitars have no tone, the vocals dominate the mix, and the drums felt like they had no bass to them whatsoever. Oh, and the bass guitar also came across very, very quiet in this mix. The track is also a strange one, really, because it's so fast and aggressive that I don't really see how you can rectify the issues I've already mentioned. A bit like a punky track really, a bit like an old style punky track, like an 80s punk track that perhaps it's so frenetic and it's so fast and it's so up tempo and it's so I don't know, aggressive that you can't really add too much production value into this because one, it's not really technically possible and two, perhaps it wouldn't even fit the style. When it comes to musicality, well I'm a little lost it's like a flurry of heaviness and dissonance followed by a very forced breakdown that didn't really fit that much. However I will praise the group for having the ability to all slow down and speed up at the same pace as one another that takes real musical skill whether it's done in post-production or not i've seen them do it live as well that is real musical talent to be able to speed up as a group like that and slow down that takes a lot of tightness as a group uh, the vocal performance is okay but there is a supreme lack of diction on what he's saying and that might reflect the lyrical pattern i guess but for me i, I just didn't really enjoy the vocals that much i think i'm going to cut this review short as i really don't know what to say about this song it's actually quite difficult so i gave this one a g rating of very confused out of 10 i think that will sort of tell you my opinion on it so if you like this video then please leave a like subscribe to see more and i'll see you around next time Bye bye